Welcome to today's vlog, a bit of Dizzy Gillespie on the French Riviera, that would have been amazing wouldn't it, listen to Dizzy Gillespie, as they say on there, as the bikinis, the scooters and the film stars get out of the way, that must have been some gig, uh, although apparently some of the tracks were actually re-recorded back in a studio in New York, but the track we were listening to there, No More Blues, uh, was recorded live on the French Riviera in 1964? 1962, sorry. Anyway, welcome along to today's vlog. Um, thank you for all those comments and uh, questions and everything about the two videos to do with Selma, uh, the visit to Selma and kind of the follow-up tour which I did afterwards. Um, it's been great. I think we've put that subject to bed though for a while, don't you, about the Mark VI and everything else like that. Let's leave that there for today. What I want to talk about today is, well, a couple of things. More of a normal vlog, really, today. It's been a long while since I feel like I've done a normal vlog. Last night, I got uh, this email from the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music, which says, view your ABRSM practical results online. Every single time I receive that email, a little bit of my stomach starts to churn, a little bit of my heart starts to flutter a little bit louder, a little bit harder, because... I've been teaching now for 18 and a bit years. I've been teaching since 2000, sort of the end of two, the year 2000. Um, I've had a lot of students in those times from all over the world, but every single one of them that has entered a practical associated board exam has passed. And from that, everyone who has done the grade eight, the top exam you can do in the UK, has got a distinction. So I've got a 100% pass rate for the exams and a 100% distinction, pass with distinction rate for the top. Now. There's a little bit of credit there, you know, hopefully I teach them the right way. Um, my main secret to that success, as I've explained before in this vlog, is setting clear targets for students, helping them to understand where we're going with it, why we're practicing what we're practicing, and what we're hoping to achieve by the end of it, and covering all the bases, but not being what sometimes happens, especially in this country where people just learn to pass exams and they can't learn to perform, as I hopefully showed you with the students' concert when I was talking about the saxophone summer school, my target is to create musicians who play the saxophone, not saxophone players. My goal is to open up a whole new world to you of music as a student and to try and expand that and help you fulfill your potential. Um, my goal really is to inspire students to be able to practice and to work so that you want to go to the instrument rather than you people feel that they've got to go to the instrument and I think if you can you know there's an age old adage you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it thirsty you know you've got that thirst that's got to come from within I can try and dry your mouth out as it were or kick along but it's often a the carrot is better than the stick approach keep dangling those things in front and there you go it works if you're not sure um kind of what's happening you know if you want to fancy a little different approach as i've said and i'm going to keep saying for a few more vlogs those four free saxophone lessons available to you on the link below if you haven't already signed up for them please head over there to cambridgesaxophone.com sign up for them no obligation to do anything else there's platinum membership there with 400 video lessons there's lots and lots of other things but it's down there but what is coming is the practice book which I am going to get to the printers I'm going to have available in August. If you'd like to know more about that just simply drop me a message or a comment below preferably an email or a message then I've got your details on file so that when the book comes out you can be one of the first people to get hold of it. The designs are finished it's a practice strategy book if you've seen any of these um journals like the five minute journal i've mentioned that before um, or kind of any kind of uh, planner or project management kind of lifestyle kind of thing but it's designed specifically for music it's not just for saxophone it can be on any instrument but the goal is to help you to practice more efficiently and it's come from things like when i've done the consecutive days of practice like i spoke about in this vlog uh, but also some very um, you know kind of informative target tracker stuff what why are we doing this and how are we going to achieve it is always, I think, the most important things that students have always done. So, that in mind, I have a month and a couple of days until I have this big classical recital, which I'm having to practice for. Why am I practicing for it? Because I want to be able to play this music that's difficult. Uh, how am I doing it? I'm going through extracts, I'm going through the pieces as often as I can, daily, if I can. Um, what's my motivation? I don't want to screw up. <laughs>
So after Cambridge for a meeting, kind of rather not be doing it on my day off, but it's kind of the only way I can get everything fitted in during the week as we head towards the summer holidays. I try and get as much done now so that when the kids finish next week, I can get a little bit more spare time. So I'm not having to use the time I would normally use for doing, should we say, ancillary activities or other things, you know, like the book or like the vlog and stuff like that. So things that I can get done now in this coming week, at least, I want to get done now so that I get a little bit more time over the summer with the kids. So there will be some breaks during the summer with the vlogs. Some days that, you know, might happen, might be able to get them out, but other days, I'm going to try and keep it, you know, a little bit more family time. Uh, selections from a suite uh, that my old music teacher, composer, Welsh composer John Bowen, can wrote for me. Uh, I'm going to be playing it at my classical recital uh, in London. Checking out the mic switched on there. For that, I was sorting out the kids' homework yet again. It falls on parents to do homework, as it usually is. But uh, anyway, that's by the by. Thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Back to normal. Hope it's okay. Um, probably won't get the views that we got for the other ones. Don't forget to check out uh, my last vlog here. And this is what I was up to uh, this time last year. Don't forget. Hit the subscribe button if you don't already. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you really soon.